Welcome back to Aspire For Me. I'm Jesse, and this is Kim, and you've made it to Frugal Friday. This week we got a short one for you, where we're reading The Art of Frugal Hedonism, Chapter 23. Kim? Oh, 24, sorry. <laughs> Kim, what's it called? Uh, chapter 24 is titled, Bring a Bag. Okay. Um, we're not really sure how much more needs saying on this one. Take a bag with you when you go places. It enables you to carry two excellent money savers, a water bottle and food from home. A person without a bag is at the mercy of using their wallet to obtain anything they might need throughout the day. If you buy something, you can put that in your bag too, so you don't have to use a plastic one. Okay, go ahead and nominate us for a Most Obvious Statement of the Year Award. Some people keep another bag inside their regular bag, like one of those thin fabric shopping bags that stuff inside themselves to form an improbably small cushion. That way, if they buy a lot of watermelon and a lot of mangoes all at the same time, they still have enough bag. Easy. <laughs> well, our state has recently adopted the um, no plastic bag policy um, and is you have to bring your own bag or you have to buy a paper bag. Mm -hmm. So um, we're kind of transitioning um when COVID hit it kind of kicked us back into using plastic bags at the grocery store mm -hmm. in order to keep people from touching as much stuff but um I'm already starting to see you know more people who are bringing their own bags in anyways mm -hmm. and um more own bag usage so but I wasn't expecting him to kind of go with the bring a bag to carry some stuff with you Mm -hmm. um, that one caught me off guard a little bit. So what do you think of this section? I've been an avid bag carrier for years, our whole marriage, really. Like, I hate going someplace and feeling thirsty and not having access to a water bottle. And to have a water bottle, you have to have something to put it in because I hate carrying a water bottle. So in order to have a water bottle, I have to have a bag. And then inside that bag, I almost always have snacks because I also hate going someplace and being hungry and having to buy food if I could just eat an apple or have a snack bar or something like that. So I've been carrying bags my whole life. Um, sometimes it's just an oversized purse. Sometimes maybe it's a backpack uh, and my wallet's just part of that whole ensemble. Um, I really like these... Um, thin bags that we have that kind of fold up into themselves and they just are maybe this big and so that can just go inside my purse and then if I find that I need a bigger bag I can um put that bag inside you know the other bag that I'm carrying and then just have like you know inception of bags with me at all times but yeah yeah I wonder if this concept is kind of what led to the purse um for women to carry a purse is more of them just carrying a bag mm -hmm. and then they decided to make their bags fashionable and call mm -hmm. them purses um because obviously women have been carrying purses or bags for a long time but mm -hmm. if you ever go on a hike with kim you will not go dehydrated because <laughs> she packs enough water for herself and all the people she's hiking with because she always assumes <laughs> that nobody's going to pack enough water for themselves. Which ends up being actually pretty good because I have one friend who's notoriously bad at packing enough water. And if she's watching this video, she knows exactly who she is because we'll go on like a six yeah. or eight or ten mile hike. And no joke, she will bring like four ounces of water, like three swallows and she's done with her water. And... She always is more thirsty than mm. that, and so I'm so proud of her because she just upgraded to bigger water bottles. But before then, my six water bottles inside of my backpack would hydrate both of us. Mm. So True, yeah. I was feeling the other day, so when I go to work, I bring usually breakfast and lunch because I get to work early and so I'll have my breakfast on my first break and then I'll have lunch a little later in the day and so I bring both meals with me and I never pack small amounts of food mostly because I'll have like you know with breakfast I'll have a banana and I'll have peanut butter and I'll have toast but I never like package the toast out separate and the peanut butter out separate so I have like a jar of peanut butter a thing of bread a banana and that's breakfast and then for lunch It'll be like, you know, the salad, but I don't want the dressing and I don't want the cheese on the salad. So these will all be in like separate containers. So I, I walk into work like I'm staying for a weekend. And some of my coworkers literally just walk in with what they're like. They just come in just them. 
I don't even, they don't even have a purse. And I always have like a purse, which has like my chapstick and my lotion and stuff. And then I have this copious amounts of things. Plus I bring all of my own utensils and I bring a plate because I don't want to use a paper plate there. And I bring a, na a cloth napkin because I don't like using paper products. And so I look like such a hoarder. And I was really starting to feel like I want to be one of those people that just like sveltly walks in with just their things but this actually inspired like i'm doing the right thing you're doing here, the right so thing babe i'm living and the art of frugal hedonism. you also pack my lunches the same way very heavy <laughs> in containers and using a very large bags to do it um and my trick is i leave it in the truck until lunchtime because there's less people paying attention when I bring in my lunch at lunchtime. So, it just sits <laughs> in my truck. I only bring in my breakfast stuff mm. that I might have with me. Um, and I sneak out later and get my lunch. So Unless you forget you it in the truck. And then we find it a couple days later. Yeah, then it goes in the dumpster. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Food waste. I would love to know if you are an avid bag carrier and what some of your bag solutions are. You can comment about that in the, the comments down below. Uh, but I do think that that has saved us money over time. You know, we sure. haven't had to buy beverages when we're out, which can always be more expensive than you want to spend. And and you're ready if you find something, you know, for free on the side of the road, you can pop it in your bag and carry it with you when you walk along. So free on the side of the road. <laughs> sure, <laughs> everybody does that. <laughs> You're not weird. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this shorter one, and we will see you next week. Have a good weekend. Bye.